My name is Ron Furrier. I'm Ron the Floor Guy. I started the business. I got married at 16. Let's go back a ways. I got married at 16 and been on my own ever since and started doing floors then. And I've been a member of Hamilton Methodist Church for uh, about 15 years. I don't remember ever hearing the serenity prayer. Surely. Until 1986 when I came into Alcoholics Anonymous. I don't think I ever heard it anywhere. But um, now I've heard it, um, so over 34 years, I've heard it thousands of times. The serenity prayer is, God grant me the serenity to accept the things I cannot change, the courage to change the things I can, and the wisdom to know the difference. You know, we all hear if you're an alcoholic, you can't stop. Well, I could stop. I stopped for a year. I stopped six months, but never stayed stopped. I drank for 23 years, did not think at all I had a problem. All you people had a problem. All the people that aggravated me and tried to change me, they were all the problems. What we say about alcohol, and I'm sure other addictions, is just a symptom of your problems. I was very selfish, I was very self-centered. I had an ego bigger than this house. I was uh, in control, I was all I, I, me, me, me. And some of that shows its ugly face today, I gotta tell you, but I try to control it. And, that, and through the serenity prayer and through helping others and going to meetings, I learned to right-size myself. It's the serenity prayer is very important for anybody who's suffering from any sort of an addiction. Um, you know, God grant me the serenity, the peace, no matter what it is, uh, alcohol, drugs, food, whatever, gambling. You know, our lives were hectic and crazy uh, when we were out there doing our thing. The serenity, the peace that comes when you stop drinking and you're not in a chaotic world anymore. And then the courage to change the things you can we really think we can change a lot of things, but there's very, very little we can change. Uh, and the wisdom, the wisdom is from the guys that went before me, telling me that this is what you have to do, Ron, if you want to stay sober. It's the wisdom that makes you realize the only person you can change is yourself.